Tableau 101 using calculated fields. So next we're going to be talking about calculated fields. So you can add a field by using a calculation if it doesn't exist in the originating data set. So for example, uh, if I was looking at um, sales, for example, and I realized that, you know what, um, this is not the correct sales amount, I'm supposed to multiply it by, it by 2. So one way I can make a calculated field is by uh, right-clicking and then going to Create, and then you can go to Calculated Field. So in the Calculated Field, it's much like when you write an Excel formula, uh, or in other programs when you create um, calculations, you can name the calculation first, I would say sales times 2, and then I can, um, the variable or the measure that you've already um, clicked on will um, automatically appear if you go from there, and then you can write, um, you know, times 2, for example. Then at the bottom here, it will tell you whether you have made any errors or not. Um, so right now it says calculation is valid, but for example, if I didn't know and I had x2, then it will say calculation contains errors. And then here it will tell you what type of error it is. So here it says syntax error, maybe you're missing an operator. And that's exactly it, you're missing the uh, star sign, which is the multiplication operator. So on the right side over here, you can actually um, see the different types of uh, calculations that are available. So there, right now, all of them are showing, or you can just look at the ones related to numbers, related to strings, related to date, related to type conversions, and um, you can go through them one by one. And then how I learn from this is that if I go to apps, for example, then it will give tell, give you a description, so app number returns the absolute value of the given number and then gives you an ex, um, example, so as negative 7 equals 7. So all of them um, have really good examples and I found it really easy to learn from the examples that were given. I think one tricky um, calculation that um, that you usually won't use but it's more advanced would be attribute. So the attribute expression is the one that returns the value of the given expression if it only has a single value for all the rows in the group. Otherwise it displays an asterisk. Null values are ignored. So usually I would use um, attribute when I'm combining a calculation that has both text and numbers. and um, you know, Tableau doesn't allow you to combine both text and numbers, so I would, you know, attribute the uh, text one, and then that will allow me to um, continue the calculation. So that's one method of creating a calculation. So the other method would be to go to analysis and then go to create calculated field. Um, other ways to create calculations could be really simple. So there are some table calculations. Um, so for example, we're over here for sales, you can, um, I'm going to first remove my table calculation. Bring it back in. And then now I can show you that you can either have a quick table calculation, which is um, you know, set calculation. So you can have running total, difference, percentage, difference, percentage of total. So I'm going to click percentage of total. And uh, that will allow it to calculate the different um, percentages. And that's a quick calculation. You can do some math quickly to make sure that it's doing it correctly. Um, sometimes you may have to edit your calculation because uh, I might not be computing against the right variable. So for example, like it could be calculating just for the cell rather than the whole table and then all of them would show up as 100% for example. So that's when you want to change your compute using. The other way would rather than quick table calculations, you can also um, create your own calculations. So you can come here and say add table calculation. And then for example, I want to calculate a difference from um, and I want it to do it from the previous city. So I'm just going to um, X out and that should um, do it for me. So it tells you the difference 
from the previous city and then order that as in.